Good morning guys. Today we're going to uh, look at a project that I've been working on for quite a few months uh, for Kadem Trucking. This is a uh, this is a pretty serious truck and this is a, a heavy haul application. Uh, big power, big transmissions, big axles. Uh, really, really neat truck. It's a, of course it's a 2019 Peterbilt 389 with the uh, 48 inch sleeper. The color of this truck is black diamond. Uh, just a real pretty black with kind of a silver and gray flake in it. Super pretty. Um, 301 inch wheelbase. It's a pretty odd number, but just the, the function of some pieces on here and uh, some spacing that we were trying to get, that's how that ended up. Uh, 46,000 new way suspension on the rear. It's the ADZ 246 uh, for you guys that are familiar with this kind of setup. Um, sitting on top of, we, we did the zinc coated frame rails. They get a zinc coating before it goes through paint. Uh, everything is supposed to last a lot longer, or the paint is anyway. Of course, the, with the length and the application, it's double framed. Uh, this has the Alcoa Durabrite wheels. Um, you know, I talk about it in a lot of my other videos. It's just really faint, but if you see the chrome cap versus the wheel, just the tint is just a little bit different. That's the only difference. Um, and for the environment this truck's going in, it's an absolute necessary. Uh, they, run, they run through some pretty nasty conditions. So, uh, and as nice as they like to keep their trucks, it, uh, it's just, it, it's a must have. Uh, that's the Holland FW70. Uh, it's their biggest, baddest um, fifth wheel. It's got the highest uh, load and pull capacity. Notice that we had the slide slid all the way forward. That's as long a slide as I could get on it, slid as far forward as I could get. Uh, the guys over at Kadem, they'll come back and they'll extend this all the way to the end. Um, and they'll do some custom stuff back here too. Um, uh, Google them, check them out. Uh, Kadem Trucking, C-A-T, with the T's and Tom, O-M. Um, primarily a Kenworth fleet, but everything they've got is just... Uh, super gorgeous that they, they take big big pride in their stuff their attention to detail is second to none flat top sleeper simple on the back a couple load lights with a uh, step mounted on the tank of course we color matched the phoenix light kit it's it's got the underglow with all the little bullet led lights polished tanks uh, even with the big 46 in or 46,000 pound rear ends, still able to get uh, disc brakes. This truck's got a four speed auxiliary transmission in it, um, which, uh, for uh, obviously, they're hauling some really heavy stuff. Uh, but it's going to change what you and I normally see as a rear end gear and this has got a 410 rear end in it Haven't done one of those in quite a while the lift axle uh, completely operated um, Remote by the cab Polished def tank cover We'll take a peek in here um, Of course, it's got premium sound. There's your your subwoofer and your amplifier. Uh, this one came with a 1800 watt inverter from the factory. We did the polished covers on the box, polished air tanks, polished step, uh, four batteries in there. Turn signals on the mirror. Of course, everything all polished there. Did the uh, did the blanks? T 
to match on the light kit. And it's all backlit. It'll, uh, the lights are on the opposite side. Hits the polished stainless on the tank at night and creates an awesome look. With the 14.6 front axle, um, kind of unusual tire size from what you see on most everything, but it's a 315.80, 22.5, a little bit, little bit wider wheel. Big toe pin on the bumper. Of course, everything's polished, the surround, the headlights. Uh, we did the custom visor, paint matched, and then the seven roof lights with all clear LEDs. See the uh, driver and passenger side spot mirrors. Those are a uh, definite necessity for what these guys do. Hundred fifty gallon tank on this side, and like a lot of our other projects, notice everything's bolted. And, uh, uh, we're not do we're done with our phase of this truck. Uh, it'll it'll look really different after they uh, do all their custom stuff to it. Um, there'll be a rear plate on the back, and uh, like I said, the fifth wheel will be extended. There'll be a lot. There'll be more custom touches. Uh, it's going to get an APU, handful of things. Six hundred and five horsepower, twenty fifty torque, performance series X fifteen, two speed flan clutch, the uh, double capacity air compressor is a thirty seven point four ZFM air compressor. Of course, the disc brakes up here too. Fuel heaters in the tank. Uh, all it's got the the absolute top top insulation package in it of course all the floors and walls heat thin ceiling everything's got the insulation in it fuel lines are all arctic wrap um, uh, it, it's definitely ready for the cold climate like we do on everything else it's Fog white pre -wire, frog light pre-wired turn signals if we if he ends up changing the bumper and but doing anything like that. Of course, platinum interior, uh, Arctic gray in color. Went with black seats. Uh, went with the Peterbilt Premium Ultra Ride seats with with heat. Uh, of course, and then it's got six other six way adjustments, dual armrest, black leather, swing away armrest. Full gauge package, um, rosewood dash. Bluetooth, satellite, all that good stuff. Factory CB. Tilt and telescope on the column. Leather steering wheel. Here's probably the neatest visual feature. This is the uh, Spicer 4-speed auxiliary transmission controls.
course the closets are a little smaller than what you're used to seeing from me and most everything I do for my inventory you know is a 63 inch flat top instead of this 48 um, one of the side effects of these premium ultra ride seats instead of the Sears Atlas seats that I've been doing is we can from the factory get the uh, cup holder uh, the, the the distance between the seats is too narrow on the uh, sear seats they don't don't like to put that in there chrome stick full custom build I mean full lockers ready for the uh, it's pre-wired for uh, strobe lights and um, like I said there's a lot of stuff on the exterior that th those guys are going to bolt on and uh, the truck will definitely have a little bit different th look than what you see now but just want to show it to you it's pretty unusual uh, for me um, 46 rears, 4 speed auxiliary 14 6 front um, big wheelbase double frame this is a bad bad boy here it'll uh uh, be be interesting to to get pictures from those guys with a nice nice big uh, haul behind it. But just want to give you a peek at this one. Uh, this is this is not something I keep. Um, if you needed something similar to this, would definitely be a special order. Um, but just want to show you that we are capable of doing this. And uh, want to thank Todd and the guys. Todd taught me a lot on this. He's uh, I've been doing this 20 years, and he taught me a lot because <clears throat> this is uh this is his specialty but check it out and if you've got any questions you can always reach me 918-808-5638 uh call me or text me my name's steve carboni uh like this page if you uh like these videos and you can catch peterbilt steve facebook instagram snapchat all that stuff everything's under peterbilt steve if you want to shoot me an email info at peterbiltsteve.com and uh, hopefully things will um, free up just a little bit and I can get some more videos out here pretty quick. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Appreciate it. You guys have a good day.